Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are staying safe in these very weird times. And also I hope that with this video I can help you take your mind elsewhere at least for some minutes. For the ones that are new here to my channel, I introduce myself. I'm Cheojas, I'm an international New York based oil painter creating surrealist compositions that provoke philosophical reflections. Today I'll be sharing with you guys the process, the painting process behind this girl over here. So I hope you enjoy that. She is titled Carelessly Introspective. I hope you enjoy the spoken words and the concept behind the art also. She is the first one out of a collection of three paintings. I'm already working in the second one, so I'm going to be showing you the process and the video behind that one soon, probably a week or two from now. The whole collection or family, it's called Smoking Portraits. So that's going to be like the common thread between them. About the technical aspect of this painting, this is a 30 by 40 inches stretched canvas. I also gessoed it before starting. The paints are basically just all paints. I don't think I used any medium. I think I used like a bit of liquid to make the smoke to create like a transparency of the white to make it look more smoky and that's kind of the only part or moment where I use some medium. The painting is also varnished that you're going to see also in this video. The most satisfying part of the whole process. I made this painting in about 11 days and I paint in average, I would say like three hours a day, some days a little bit more, some days a little less, so about three hours. So I would say it took me a total of 33 hours, give or take. And you could add to that a couple of days where I'm, I'm creating the idea or thinking of the idea, then sketching out how I want it to look then looking for references, creating the composition and all that, that takes some time too. So I've been asked lately, why purple? Like why, why is the purple like a thing on all my paintings? So I'm going to tell you the story behind that right now. Also, if you want to ask me something and you want me to answer that in my next video, ask it in the comments below and I'll answer to it in my next video. That easy. I was last year studying graphic design in Parsons and I've been wanting to take an art class since I started the program. I think I actually got into that program because I wanted to start art and I thought I was going to have more art classes without actually studying art. <laughs> and I don't know. The thing is, that was not the case. And after breaking my advisor's walls for three semesters, she finally got me into this class that was called Observational Painting and it was for the illustration major. So I was clearly the most newbie of them all and you could clearly, clearly tell. It was from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m every Thursday. It was the studio class. We basically just painted the, a model that was there. That's not the learning experience I was expecting for and I don't know, I really didn't enjoy it that much but I got into painting. That's what I wanted and I love that. So for the first class they tell us that for the next class we have for homework to oil paint a friend. We have to ask a friend to model for us and we have to paint her, he or she or them um, and bring that back to class. That was basically the first homework. And I was fucked up to do it because first of all, I didn't have time to do it. So this was Thursday, then I had Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I was working all day, I mean like all day. In, I was selling in a street market in Soho and then I had class Monday, Tuesday and 
Wednesday till 10 p.m. And also I had more homework for those classes and also I had my side hustle and also a friend from Chile was coming over with her boyfriend and we have been planning this for months so I didn't know when the fuck I was going to do it and then also I didn't have supplies at all I didn't have one paintbrush I didn't have paints I didn't have canvases I didn't have anything and so when I'm in this um, market on the weekend I tell some of the artist vendors that like painters that sell their paints there and everything that I got into this class and blah blah and they told me there's this guy that sells um he's like the Robin Hood of the street artists and he sell really cheap art supplies so next day I come I see what looked like a crazy homeless in my spot which he is by the way um, and I asked him like what's going on and he's like they told me you need you were looking for art supplies and I'm like oh yes and I tell him like my class and explain the whole thing and he's like okay give me the list I'll bring it to you next time I mean next week um, for now I have some old paints so I give him the list I give him a very like reduced list from what they asked me just like the things I needed I couldn't like afford anything else and he's like but for now I have like these paints like these oil paints and one brush <laughs> that I took and he showed me the paints and it was like a very bright orange, uh, I think a yellow magenta or another weird red, uh, turquoise and the purple. So I'm like, uh, I when I saw the list, the, the things that I really had to have were like cadmium red, cadmium red, yellow, blue, um, ochre i think and black and white because you're supposed to be able to make all colors with those although i didn't know how to do like yet so anyways i was like i i can't like buy those now because i already amazon the price of like oil paintings and they're like that shit is expensive so anyways and he's like i'll give you all these for five bucks and i'm like i'll take them so i took those and the brush and I spent time with my friends, I did the homework, went to class, didn't have time at all to paint the thing and like one night before I spent, I don't know, almost the whole night, like till 4 a.m. painting on paper <laughs> and this painting, actually you, I, I'll show you the painting here, that painting that was like nothing to do with what I had to do I mean I just instead of like looking at someone I didn't have anyone pose to me I just went crazy with my own head and I had this idea I, I think I was planning to do something like that for a drawing and I was like I might as well just make it a painting and I just did that and showed into the class with this thing and I used purple for the skin just because it was one of the paintings I had and there was ocean so the ocean was going to be the blue and I had the octopus so then the tentacle so that had to be the orange and basically the color that was left for the skin and I didn't know how to mix anything so I was using just like purely the colors I was given plus black and white so I thought like okay white well, purple it is and I made her purple and I showed to class and my thing was clearly like everyone had like pretty realistic looking um, not too detailed portraits of friends and people and I had this thing <laughs> on paper by the way the teacher was like you don't paint on paper what's wrong with you anyways um, I didn't know that by the way it's not like it was a I decided to paint on paper I thought you could like I don't know so anyways the thing is people reacted a lot to my painting and when they were giving like the feedback even though I didn't have like the technique skills they had I realized like I was a newbie but I I still made my way to stand out from them just by being myself so I decided that I would keep 
the purple skin and the palette to a to certain extent for the rest of the class and then I just like fell in love with it and keep going till now that it's been maybe a year since I did the first painting and I'll, I just kept it so that's the story behind the purple let me know if you have any other questions and that's it for me today if you want to see more of my videos be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that youtube lets you know whenever i upload something new i also have products and merch with this design on them and you can find the link for those in the description below uh, this original painting is also available so if you are interested in that, that's on my Etsy shop. The link is below too, or you can just comment or send me an email or write me an Instagram or whatever, and I'll get back to you. And, oh, actually I'm wearing a t-shirt now with one of my old paintings. I mean, not old, but recent paintings. So you can see how, I mean, this is a very oversized one, but you can see more or less how they look like and the quality although you have like product pictures there too anyways so i'm blah, blah, rumbling right now so that's it for me really now i hope you enjoyed the video and give it a like if you do it helps me a lot and i need help and that's it bye carelessly introspective she wanders around the city carelessly introspective Wow, you're smoking hot. She might overhear while not really noticing. Her train of thought stays on course as if on tracks. She knows it doesn't matter. It doesn't touch the soul of her interests and it would fade away in light of her true self. If she were to let someone in, even into the first perimeter of herself, they would soon realize it's her mind what's really smoking away from words and adjectives. Her thoughts, like smoke, ascend lightly, undefined into random entrancing paths and shapes, until they become senseless and vanish. She's different. You can see that now on her skin. How could you miss it before? Your focus was on your own desire and expectations. Now you look at her. She is no longer hot, but rather she's burning into ashes. Her wild mentality, consuming her down to the ground, carelessly introspective.